Hi, looter shooters have recently captured the hearts of many players with their endless farming and hero development, centered around leveling up characters and acquiring more powerful weapons and cool gear. This time, I'll tell you about some truly interesting looter shooters that can devour a lot of your time. Let's start with the Tom Clancy's The Division series. The first part was released in 2016 and, after significant development, became an excellent looter shooter deserving of a sequel. Here, in squads of up to four players, we'll undertake various PvP and PD missions. Combining an open post-apocalyptic world with MMO elements, the Division quickly gathered a fanbase. The standout feature of the game is the Dark Zone, a location where PV elements intersect with PvP and where you can find the most valuable loot. Exotic gear, weapons, and customization items will keep you engaged and motivated to farm even harder. Risk of Rain 2 is the sequel to the cooperative roguelike. The second installment made significant improvements in graphics and gameplay, surpassing its predecessor in every aspect. It's now a full-fledged third-person roguelike shooter that retains all the intensity of battles from the first part. The core of the game remains the same, there's a timer, and as it runs out, the world's difficulty keeps increasing indefinitely. To advance to the next level, you need to find a portal, defeat a boss, all while taking down smaller enemies and collecting artifacts scattered across the map. Unlike the first part, the map is not randomly generated, but it changes with each floor. The game features numerous characters with different abilities and items that can alter gameplay, making each run unique. Destiny 2 is a first-person sci-fi shooter that combines the best elements of games like Borderlands and Diablo. The gameplay is solid, with a wide variety of weapons that feel distinct, and it offers both solo and cooperative play. It has a good storyline and optimization, with plenty of content, quests, locations, weapons, and equipment elements to keep you engaged, along with the inevitable grind. Gunfire Reborn is an interesting first-person roguelike with cats, guns, RPG elements, and up to four-player co-op. Here, you'll assume the roles of heroes with unique abilities and venture into randomly generated expansive locations. Mechanically, it resembles a blend of Doom, Borderlands, and Risk of Rain 2. As usual, after selecting a hero, we dive into dungeons, pick up guns with various bonuses that significantly alter their behavior, and annihilate groups of enemies in room arena settings. Along the way, you can collect occult scrolls granting special effects to your hero and special items to upgrade one of your passive skills. Shadow Warrior 2 took a completely different direction from its predecessor. Instead of a series of levels on relatively spacious maps, the hero finds themselves in a hub zone where they can embark on various missions, only some of which are directly related to the main storyline. The game offers a networked mode for up to four players, where you'll be tasked with decimating hordes of demons using a wide variety of weapons, from katanas to rocket launchers. In addition to a satisfying loot and upgrade system, the game boasts one of the most enjoyable combat mechanics, with many memorable kills. It's a shame that the third installment didn't live up to expectations. Trove this game will make you look at looter shooters a bit differently than typical representatives of the subgenre. Of course, the game offers many hours of excellent action, but here, you can not only shoot but also slice through enemies with various melee weapons, depending on your chosen class. It's also a great grind fest with plenty of mounts, pets, and various collectibles. In brief, it's a voxel-based MMO consisting of an infinite number of worlds of varying difficulty. Each world is a separate location with its own complexity, and to access a more challenging world, you'll first need to level up and equip your character, which will require a fair amount of boss hunting. Farming for the sake of farming is the core of the game. We grind in easy worlds to prepare for tougher ones. Surprisingly, the farming in this game is quite engaging and spiced up with a variety of other interesting mechanics, such as building your own house and creating guilds with their own customizable worlds. Deep Rock Galactic, an excellent cooperative looter shooter that can keep you hooked for many hours. It's a fantastic cooperative shooter with crazy gunfights and farming. Here, we, as dwarf mercenaries, have different skills and unique types of weapons to choose from, and selecting them wisely is crucial. In general, it's a fantastic shooter for playing with friends, 
random players, or even solo in a fully destructible world. It features charismatic characters and a distinctive style. The gameplay involves digging, exploration, and battles in massive cave systems, where you can encounter hordes of monsters as well as immense riches. Remnant These two games can't be called traditional looter shooters because they have a limited number of guns and melee weapons, and a significant portion of your equipment needs to be crafted and can't be found. However, Remnant is still a looter at heart, thanks to its flexible game world, which provides new experiences with each playthrough. The developers have effectively created a dungeon crawler with roguelike elements. The key to loot here is quality, not quantity, and collecting all available types of weapons is the main reason for multiple playthroughs. Borderlands series. This series is primarily known for its cel-shaded graphics, unique humor, and addictive cooperative play. Its developers always aim to create a hybrid of RPG and FPS, blending the most appealing features of both genres. As a result, we got an explosive series of games focused on shooting, acquiring new skills, and character progression. With a vast array of different guns at your disposal, you're free to choose your playstyle. Borderlands will keep you engaged for hours, especially if you enjoy collecting legendary items and exploring various locations. Warframe. For many years, Warframe has provided players with finely polished gameplay and a unique system for creating classes and weapons. I want to highlight that this game follows one of the most player-friendly free-to-play models I've seen. Everything in the game can be obtained through gameplay, even the premium currency. This approach allows you to create powerful builds without spending real money. Of course, it's balanced with time, meaning that players who don't want to spend money will invest more time in progression, but I personally find it more rewarding. The game is set in a fictional universe, and if you're confused, that means you're playing Warframe. The gameplay here is similar to the games mentioned above, with parkour elements. You'll play as futuristic exocets with unique skills and attributes. There's a vast variety of them, and with each major update, there are even more. There's a plethora of unique activities with different mechanics, factions, and syndicates you can join and complete tasks for. There are numerous blueprints for weapons and equipment, offering great diversity. Marauders. This is a multiplayer looter shooter where players take on the role of space pirates and embark on solo or cooperative missions to plunder other ships, which can be controlled by AI or other players. The game is set in an alternative diesel punk future of the early 1990s. During raids, you must collect as many valuable resources as possible, and if you survive, you can use this loot for further battles, upgrading your own ship, or selling it for a decent profit. The game was released not too long ago, but is already filled with a plethora of content. Outriders This game is a blend of a shooter and a full-fledged RPG with extensive skill trees. When creating your character, you must choose one of the four playable classes, each with its own role. The ability to use your class's key abilities will be crucial during group battles. Besides that, Outriders features an engaging story campaign, which is a pleasant surprise. The developers managed to impress by creating a variety of interesting characters and unusual side missions, and they didn't skimp on high-quality cutscene animations. It's an engaging story in a vibrant and unique world that unfolds as you leave the slums of the first city and embark on a quest to find the source of a mysterious signal through forests, mountains, and deserts. The Cycle Frontier. This is a semi-free-to-play first-person PvP PvE shooter full of dangers and battles. On an abandoned planet, you'll go in search of treasures and resources, but be careful, only those who can survive will be able to keep their loot. Beware of bloodthirsty monsters and greedy players, or, conversely, eliminate them and claim their loot for yourself. Upgrade your existing gear, purchase new gear, and complete faction contracts to increase income and gain access to new combat capabilities. In addition to session-based battles, the game offers beautifully crafted locations, a dynamic weather cycle with devastating storms, partially free movement around the planet, and the ability to join alliances as you complete contracts. You can also buy a wide range of weapons and equipment on the black market, craft items, and customize your characters. That's all, 
Thank you for watching. The Image Game Channel was with you. Have a good day.